when it gets to this level, there, there's no need to gloat or banter at Chelsea this anytime, man. There, no, no more bantering Chelsea. This is poor. Enzo Fernandez, Caicedo, what a waste of money, waste of space, waste of bragging. Chelsea fans, like, I, I, see, I'm not bantering you guys, but you guys must be going through a lot. You must be going through a lot. Remember, you're telling you're going to amortize this, amortize that. I think you guys have to amortize all these losses, all these draws, all these poor performances. Players underperforming at a grand scale. This is poor. Yeah, you can always say that the owners are bought wrongly, the owners are horrible. Fine. Like, I understand that too. I think that that's part of the problem. But, Poch, Jesus Christ, he is clueless. No, I'm not saying the players are not part of the problem. I'm not saying the owners don't have the fair share. But Poch himself, like, uh, a midfielder that costs in excess of 200 million pounds playing that. They don't, they can't defend, they can't create. So, what can I meet you? What can the Chelsea meet you do? They're not defending well, they're not creating anything. What do they do? Chelsea fans, please, I want you to answer that question in the comment section. What do you meet you do? Educate me. Maybe I'm watching with my bias, my not bias, because this is horrible. I'm, I'm not gloating or bantering. Let's like just have a conversation. What do your midfield do? Fernandez, right? Uh, Caicedo, Gallia. What do they do? For Ryan Sterling, I said it a long time ago. He was lucky to be part of the Liverpool team that had a decent kind of players that made him look better than he is. They went to a City team. They are creating a lot of chances. Let's not forget. Sterling was missing a lot of chances, but still scoring a few. So it didn't matter because they were winning. So it didn't matter. Now he's playing at Chelsea. They are not winning and they're still missing chances. It becomes very, very obvious and very apparent. It's absolutely pathetic. Ryan Sterling, for me, he's finished. He's just enjoying the English privilege and the English hype and the English grace. That is why he's not being ripped up by the fans and by the pundit and the, and the football commentators. If Sterling wasn't English... End of discussion. Chelsea are in a deep mess. Chelsea are finished. Chelsea are horrible. Chelsea are embarrassed. There is nothing to look forward to as, as a Chelsea fan these, these days because it's from one dumpster fire to the next dumpster fire. One, uh, they cannot control games. They cannot win games. They cannot consolidate on when they are leading. Everything is just horrible and horrifying. To Jackson, to Sterling, to Gallagher, to to the defense, to Gusto. Gusto, yeah, decent game here and there, but the whole team is a shit show. The shit show. Well, for me, they are lucky to get this draw against Burnley. Yeah, they had the possession, they slightly played better, but Burnley will have won this game. They are lucky to get a dubious penalty. Bully got two red cards, yet yeah, Chelsea could not still win the game. Chelsea could not still win this game. But I understand it seems like against Arsenal, against Man City, they are, they are put up a fight. They are not winning those games, but put up a fight. But why can't I can put up a fight against the likes of Arsenal, Liverpool, Manju, sorry, um, Manchester City rather? But the smaller teams, the inferior teams, you can't even beat them. You can't. What? 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 what what's the what psychological block there? What is happening? Because on paper you have superior players. Apart from, let's take the chest out of it. Even though beyond paper, I think Chelsea have superior players to Burnley. So what is wrong? What is wrong? Because Chelsea fans, I'd like to know. Any Chelsea fans that's watching this channel, I'll, I would like you to educate me because I, 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 I would have loved to banter you guys, but he that is down fears not for the is needless bantering you guys anymore. Is becoming a weekly fixture, so the banter is no longer funny. It's no longer funny at this, at this rate. Nah, it's no longer funny. Let me know what, what, do you, what do you guys think about the latest Chelsea draw. They've been persistent, but like, between 11, 10, 11, 10, all season, all season, with all the investment of one billion pounds in that team. When just ones are telling us, oh, you have to amortize this, you amortize, you are, we are smart owners, our owners know what, what they are doing. We, I remember I told you guys, right? You can't reinvent the wheel. What Chelsea owners were doing at that time was not a smart thing because other clubs have thought about it, but they saw that 
is a dangerous and a very risky venture to get into. But Chelsea took the risk and they are reaping the rewards. They, are, they took the risk and they're reaping the reward. It is what it is. Yeah, let, me know, let me know what you think in the comment section regarding Chelsea. Do you think they'll get out of this slump soon or do you think there is more slump to get into? Let me know uh, what you think in the comment section. Uh, your way out, strike a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new here. Yet subscribe. Come down, subscribe if you enjoy the content. And make sure you turn on your notification bell. Very, very important. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>